Cool. Okay. So before we jump into the work we started on Tuesday, we're going to just do this again. I don't know if anyone still has any because we've had one every time so far. But does anyone have any questions from your exam or from tests that you wrote that were tricky or you didn't understand or you didn't understand the memo or has been backing you since it wrote since you wrote it, like it's been haunting you in your dreams. Does anyone have any question that you would like us to go through? If you do, just put your hand up for me and we can go through it. <laughs> Thanks, Maravi. I know we've landed up having one every lesson, so I'm sure we're running, running low on them, but I thought I would still just ask if you have one. Just chuck your hand up. We're all good. Cool. If one pops to you in the middle of the lesson, just let me know. Okay. Okay. So we started working through these types of questions on Tuesday. And basically what we're doing is we're combining this idea of fractions and the idea of factorization. So there's a couple of things we're wanting to talk about when we look at a question like this. The first thing we want to talk about is, and you're going to sort of help me as we talk through this, when we see a divide sign in our question, what does our brain need to think about? What do we need to think about when we see a divide? Yes. Great. Okay. KFC. Some people think of it as something else. If you think of it as something else, let me know in the chat. When we see a divide sign in a fraction question, what do we think about? No one else coming in here? There we go. Tip and time. Thanks, Amber. Okay. Okay. So KFC just, just stands for keep. So we keep the first fraction, flip the second fraction, and change the sign. That's what KFC stands for. Tip and times is saying that we are just tipping and timesing. So we are tipping the second fraction and we are timesing. Now, if we look at this second number, at the moment, it's just a number. It's not a fraction, which is a bit of a pain. But remember, we can always make something a fraction by putting it over one. So I'm going to go ahead and just put that over one so that I can make it a fraction. Okay, so my very first step, all I'm going to do is I'm going to write x minus 3 over 2. I'm going to change that to a time sign. And I am going to flip my fraction. All right, now we are in a situation over here where we have x squared minus 3x. What do we want to do in that situation? Who thinks that they can tell me what we could do there? Basically, I have two terms and I'm wanting to make it one term. Tiana, yes. Tell me what I can do here. Well, we can um, factorize what using HCF. Beautiful, beautiful. Okay, can you do that for me? Um, yeah. Um, yeah. it's it's ish. it's it. the, the highest common factor is x. Good. And then so what's gonna, gonna be in my bracket? It's gonna be x minus three. Beautiful. Yes. Thank you, Tiana. Okay, great. So all we did over there is we factorized. Okay. So when we factorize, the first thing we have to look for is, is there a highest common factor? If there is, we take it out. If there isn't, we say, if there's two terms, can we do dots? Dot stands for difference of two squares. If there are three terms, we say, can we do a trinomial? Okay, so those are our three things that we think about when we factorize. So now we have factorized. So everything is factorized. When we get to this point, we're now allowed to cancel, okay? So I'm allowed to say that that x minus 3 can cancel with that x minus 3. And then we have, I'm just going to write it. You don't have to write this step. I'm just showing you what you have so that it can be a bit clearer. I would have 1 over 2 times 1 over x. When we have fractions next to each other and we're multiplying fractions, we say the top times the top. And the bottom times the bottom. Okay, so what we land up with is 1 times 1, which is 1, and 2 times x, which is 2x. And so this whole question just becomes 
1 over 2x. Now, in this type of question, you would get a mark for changing that to a multiplication sign. You would get a mark for factorizing that correctly. And then you would get a mark down there for the answer. So this type of question would be about three marks. Does anyone have any questions about what they are currently seeing on the board? Oh, Nazi. Yes, my love. How can I help? Hi, Mom. Hi. My, so do you have to like put the bracket, the, the x squared minus 3x over 1? You mean, you mean this bracket over here? Yes, ma'am. No. So that bracket was there to just kind of show you that we're dividing by everything there. But because we've made it a fraction, we've shown that we're dividing by that whole thing. Okay. Thank you, ma'am. Sure, no problem. Okay. Does anyone else have any questions about what they're currently seeing before you give one a try by yourselves? This is your time. Also, if you would like a screenshot, this is your moment before we move on to the next question. Are we all good? Guys, you're so quiet tonight. I feel like thrown off by it. It's the quietest you've been in a long time. Are you all just tired after the holiday? <laughs> Everyone is feeling that the holiday is coming to an end. I feel like wake up at nine o'clock anymore. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's so weird. <laughs> you just get okay. it. That's all. <laughs> She does, Tiana. You Linda loves the word screenshot. Four hours of sleep. Oh no, Alvarez, that's not good. Okay. It is your time to do this one. My hint to you, there's no divide sign here. So I've made your life a little bit easier. You're welcome. But you are going to have to factorize that one. You're going to have to factorize that one. And you are going to have to factorize that one. Okay. Before you do anything with factorizing, you have to look and see if there's a highest common factor. So I am telling you that there is a highest common factor in all three of those. You may be able to do something else, hint, hint, wink, wink, nudge, nudge in some of them, but there is definitely a highest common factor in all three. Okay. Okay. If you would like confirmation of some of it as you're going along, you're welcome to post it in the chat and I'll give you confirmation whether you're right or wrong. It doesn't have to be the whole thing. You can just say what you think. Like you could say, I think the highest common factor for this is this and I'll tell you whether you're right. Okay, so chuck things in the chat if you'd like confirmation, but try give this one a try. If you have questions, just pop that hand up. Marby, how do you barely sleep during school? That's terrible. Your brain needs time to reset and rest and grow and create memories and all of those good things so that you know what's going on. <laughs> oh, I, Bonga, I don't think anyone's ever ready to go back to school. I don't think your teachers are ready to go back to school. <laughs> they will also be sad. Okay, so we're seeing 2x plus 8 over x plus 1. So the x plus 1, just are you taking out your highest common factor there of x? I like taking out a highest common factor. Your top numerator there, I think you're going to want to be taking out something else. Well, you wouldn't be left with 2x plus 8. Spicy question, guys. You got this. Tiana, are you going to talk me through this or do you have a question? Uh, I feel like I want to um, give say it a try. Okay, yes. um, I just want to give everyone a little bit, a little bit more time to give it a try. So I'm just going to give them one more minute and then I will unmute you again. Okay. Yes. Okay. Thank you. Yes. So, Tanuko, if there's an X at the top and there's an X at the bottom, they can definitely cancel each other out. 
Oh, Yulinda, can you help with our non-hearing person? <laughs> Shame. Yep, on my way to rescue. <laughs> Um, does anyone need more time? If you need more time, can you just let me know? You can either let me know with an emoji or on the chat, but if you'd like some more time, just let me know. Okay. Okay, ma'am, so like I felt oh, so, sorry, Tiana, I like literally unmuted you because I hadn't seen any messages. And as I unmuted you, there were two messages that came in the chat. Ma'am, <laughs> I'm nervous now because Why are you feeling really nervous? Because I feel like I go to Sagong when it's just too much pressure. I know, man, it's not too much pressure. Get it. You yeah. Get it. yeah. Right. It's opening soon. My brain isn't working. It's all of this, though. We have to get your brain, like, working and getting it ready because next week you're going to be back in the classroom. And <laughs> third term I'm is the long term. Third term is the one that goes on forever. So we have to really get your brain ready. But let us start, Masalo. So... We factorizing all of them in HCF at first. Okay. All right. So we're going to do our HCF for all of them. So what, what am I going to do first? So the first one is going to be 2x in brackets, x to the power of 2 minus 16. Beautiful. Okay. Over. And over x in the brackets, x plus 1. Okay. Cool. Times. Times on top is going to be x, and then at the bottom is going to be x, bracket x minus 4. Beautiful. Okay, so just stop there for a second. Okay, so let's just quickly go through these. So if you are doing this on your side, just marking your way through this, all of these were highest common factors, okay? And I want you to give yourselves three marks for getting to this point. So for all of them, all you had to do was take out a highest common factor, the whole all three of those were highest common factors. Okay. Cool. Okay. So, Tiana, what am I going to do now in this next step? So, the next step, we have dots. Good. Dots. We've got dots. Yes. Okay. So, so what's that going to look like? So, it's going to be 2x. Mm -hmm. um, x plus 4. 4 x Good. minus 4. Beautiful. And then the <laughs> I'm sorry. Is to be the same as it is there. And then the next one is also going to be the same. Good. And then we're going to can start. Can just, just hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Okay, so we're going to give a we're going to give ourselves a mark over there, and all we did was we did difference of two. Okay, cool. Next step. Okay, so now I'm nervous, but but the next step is we're gonna we're gonna cancel out the x minus fours. Okay, good. Those can cancel. What else and can cancel? The x's. The single x's. Like the x here under and the x there on top. Okay. So those are going to cancel. Those are going to cancel. What else can I cancel? I There's one know. more thing I can cancel. I don't know. It also involves an x. Is it the two x? Yeah, this x over here and this x over here. So we can like take the x out of it. Exactly, because it's because it's just a number. It's not inside a bracket. So the next the next one is just gonna be two Good. in bracket x plus four. Good. And then under is gonna be um x plus one. Excellent! Uh, yes, well done, man. That but it's great. Up. Nice, and you were stressed, well but it was so good. She always gets it right, though. I know. I don't know why she stresses so much. I learned it from Alvarez. <laughs> <laughs> Alvarez is a bad influence on this class. <laughs> okay, guys. How, how did this one go? Can you sort of see how things went? I want you to give yourselves an idea of where you are. Um, this would have been out of five marks. Um, you don't have to... 
tell me, like you don't have to share it with everyone if you are feeling embarrassed you're welcome to send me a direct message but just want to get an idea of how this question went so you can either tell me what you got out of five or you can say i understood some of it but i didn't understand some of it like just sort of give me an idea tell me how this question went and if you're embarrassed remember you can send a direct message to me or to yolanda yes you can absolutely take a screenshot guys Okay, so some of you are doing great. Some of you have just arrived. And so this is feeling a bit overwhelming, I am sure, especially if you have not done factorization in class. I'm sure this is looking terrifying on the screen right now. Please don't panic. Guys, if you even got, if you got three out of five, that's awesome. Three out of five means you were able to do all the factorization, which is great. That's a great first step. We're not going to go through this particular one again, but we are going to go through more which are very, very similar. Um, so, so don't panic and remember that all of these videos are recorded and they will be up within 24 hours. So if you're wanting to watch this example done again, all you have to do is watch the video and you can go through it as slowly as you like and you can pause where you'd like and you can sort of see exactly what you would need to as it goes. Okay. All right, let's give another one a go. Nice, Alvary is good. Let's give another one a try. Okay, so now this one, I'm going to talk you through just the first part, just the beginning part, because I don't want you to make a silly mistake as you're working through this. Okay, but we're going to kind of talk our way through this together. So the first thing is we see we have a divide sign, okay? And that divide sign is telling us that we need to do KFC or tip and times, okay? So I'm gonna keep my first fraction exactly as it is. Oh, goodness, that's a bit messy. Good. I'm gonna change my sign and I'm going to flip my second fraction. Okay, now when I flip my second fraction, how do you think I could write this? Who has an idea on how I could write that? Who thinks that they can tell me how I can write that? You guys are all just relying on Tiana to give you the answers here. <laughs> Alvarez, tell me then. You're saying me, so tell me. Tell me how I can do it. Thank you. Alvarez, how am I going to write that? Uh, uh, hello, ma'am. Um, hello. Uh, okay, um, let me just analyze this real quick, if you don't mind. No problem. Don't overcomplicate it. That's my advice here. Okay, isn't it, so, so because it's divided, aren't you going to like flip it like 5a squared and over 2a plus b squared in brackets as well? Okay, yeah, so I would flip it. So technically, so what you're saying is right. So down here at the bottom, I would have 2a plus b squared okay but i don't want to write 2a plus b squared i want to write it in a slightly different way that would make my life a little bit easier oh any idea no 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 nope. pass the mic on to someone else yes okay <laughs> thank you <laughs> let's see jasmine do you think you can help me out here how could i write this in a slightly different way um, multiply it. Okay, so if I multiply, I'm going to make my life harder than I need to. So I don't want to, I don't want to do the whole multiplication process. But if you saw this as a question before you did the multiplication process, what would you do? Okay. So before multiplying everything, let's see. Tracy, can you tell me what I could do here? Um, ma'am, I'm not sure, but I think it's 2AB. Um, like, you just take away the plus sign. No, we can't take away a plus sign. That would be oh. committing a math crime. Because then we would be saying that they're timesing each other, but they're plusing each other. Oh, okay. But I like it. I love that you put your hand up. I love it. Please always put your hand up. I love it. Yes, ma'am. 
It's good, okay. Jesse. Thank you. Um, Nolonwabo, could you tell me what to do? I think, ma'am, like we, we times 2A, B, like we, we, we write it twice. Yes, there we go. Good. We write it twice. Good. That is exactly what I was looking for. Thank you. Okay. So we are going to write this as <laughs> 2A plus B and then 2A plus B. And we're going to write two of them because it is squared. That is all we're going to do. So we're not going to overcomplicate it. We're just going to write it out twice because there are two of them. That's it. That's the whole, that's the whole thing. That's all I wanted you to do. That's why I was trying to say don't overcomplicate it. Okay, so now we've done our KFC and we've written that one out twice. From this step, what I would like you to focus on is I would like you to factorize that. For those of you who are still new, I'll write some little snippets on the side to help. I'd like you to factorize that. Those are the only two that need to be factorized. Okay, so for this top one, for those of you who need a bit of extra help, we are going to do dots. Dots is difference of two squares, okay? If I have x squared minus 4 and I was factorizing that, I would have x plus 2, x minus 2. That's what that would look like if I was doing difference of two squares. And over here, you're going to take out a highest common factor. Um, so HCF stands for highest common factor factor and an example of that this is just an example is if i had x squared plus x and i factorized that i could take out x as a common factor and i would be left with x plus one Okay, guys, um, so I hope that you're still doing the question and you've written it down. Um, so, Merula, Merula, I see what you're asking, but that will be entirely different because remember that we have 4A squared and then we have a sine and then B squared. So we cannot just multiply all of them like that. And on the first one, we needed to make sure that we get the, that we get the, uh, we first. That's what we needed to do. Oh, yes, she is. Sorry, guys. I got kicked out. I'm going to blame load shedding. <laughs> <laughs> load shedding sports. <laughs> oh, it's really like not on my... I'm not my friend at the moment. Okay. Okay, so all I was trying to say is that then this would be x plus 1. I don't know when I fell out of... I don't know when you could hear me and when you couldn't hear me. But that no, was... No, all the way. Okay. When, when, when you were talking, we could hear everything. Okay. Okay, good. All right. Cool. All right. So hopefully you'll be able to give this one a little bit of a go. For those of you who are struggling a little bit, maybe the notes on the right will help. But I fully accept that if you haven't done factorization, this might seem a little bit terrifying. <laughs> okay. I'm going to give you guys one more minute, and then we'll try and go through this one together. But I promise this one's quite a satisfying one. Like things, things cancel out quite nicely. I'm not sure if Tiana wants to ask a question or as I see her hand is up there. I feel like she's trying to answer. Let's see. Tiana, are you here to answer? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> You're like on the ball today, Tiana. If I come from the outside. It was really cold. So I thought maybe my brain was getting mitts in my head. <laughs> I was getting cold outside. All you need to do, like, before your maths exam at the end of the year is just go and stand in a freezer or a fridge or something and then go and yes, write I'm your maths exam. Yes, I'm 
such a good idea. <laughs> yeah, there we go. Okay, Tiana, talk us through what are we going to do with this 4a squared minus b squared? Okay, so the 4a, it, it's dots, so good. it's going to be 2a plus b, good. 2a minus b. Okay, so I'm just going to stop you there for a second. So for those of you who are feeling a little bit confused about dots, when we do dots, we find the square root of each of them, and then that goes into the front, and the other one goes into the back. So for example here, the square root of 4a squared is 2a, so that goes there and there. And then the square root of b squared is b, and that's going to go there and there. Okay. Don't worry, Kira. Thanks for letting me know. Cool. Okay. Next, that is going to go over what? And then the bottom one is 5. The highest one fit is 5. And it's in the break, it's going to be 2a and minus b. Good. Okay. Good. So I'm going to say times. And then what's going to happen on the right-hand side? We're just going to put it down. Everything's going to be exactly the same. Okay. Wow, cool. Tiana, you're nailing this. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Tell um, me what to now, cancel. Now we're gonna cancel out the the a the two a plus b. Mm. So that can cancel a, with that. And then two a minus b. Okay, so this is gonna cancel with this, and then there's something else that can cancel. It's is it the a's? Nope. In the bits? Nope. It's the five. It's the five. Yeah. And okay. then so what would I be left with? The A B to the power of two over Good. two A plus B. Perfect. Well done, practice, but you don't have to. You get the SpongeBob smiley face. <laughs> <laughs> it looks like cheese. <laughs> It's as good as you're going to get, okay? I'm not an, I'm not an art teacher. <laughs> I try my best. <laughs> Alvarez is asking for the top hat. Yes, I'm getting there, Alvarez. Okay, I'm getting there. And his bow tie. Oh, look at that SpongeBob. He's the best. Okay, thanks, guys. That was great. I think it is half past. Let's quickly go to, um, let's go to a quick brain break. And then we'll carry on with some of these. How did this one feel, though, before we jump into our brain break? Did... Like for those of you who are struggling, did it feel a little bit more manageable? Are we feeling a bit more confident? Tell me how this one's going. Like, give me an idea of, of our feelings. Yeah. Yusuf, hello. It's manageable now. It, okay. So it's feeling like a little bit less horrific than in the beginning of the lesson. Yes, ma'am. Okay, good. That is what I like to hear, Yusuf. Good. Good. Camila? Um, ma'am, quick, quick question on this. Ask this question. Away. So, yes. so, um, is, so are we not supposed to like cancel both of those two A plus B um, in those brackets on the right? No. With the so lift? This, exactly. So this is one of those typical traps that your math teacher likes to set for you because it's a very normal mistake. So when people see the 2A plus B, they want to cancel both 2A, two 2A's two plus B at the bottom, but only one can cancel with one. So you have to like make it a pair. Basically, this is a very awkward third wheel that's gone on the date. It can't be canceled out. Oh, <laughs> okay. Thank you. Okay, cool. Um, this would count for one mark for doing the multiplication, and then you'd get a mark for doing your difference of two squares, a mark for taking out your highest common factor, and then a mark for your final answer. So you would get four marks here. Um, so at this point, I can't cross out anything more, Amber. So if you're talking about these denominators, I won't be able to cross out anything more. I would only be able to cross out something if on the numerator it was exactly the same. So in brackets, it would have to be 2a plus b. Okay, cool. Okay, so your brain break today is a little bit different. Has anyone ever done a dingbat before? A dingbat. <laughs> it's a, uh, it, <laughs> it, yeah, so it, it's, it's spelt exactly like Camila spelt it. It's a dingbat like that. Okay, so a dingbat is basically where you have like a picture and you have to figure out what phrase or word or like common saying it is from that picture. 
that's basically what a dingbat is. It's like, okay, exactly, exactly. So like you've seen it, you just didn't maybe didn't know its name. All right, so let's just quickly go to Brian. Um, so I've got three. We'll see if they take too long, then we might not get through all three. But the first one is super easy to try and ease you in. And then we'll, <laughs> we'll see how you go. Okay. <laughs> um, but I have faith that you will be fine. Um, <laughs> so let's just see. Um, it depends on how well you know your phrases. So your first dingbat is this. So I'm looking for a phrase that people say. Ah, oh, yes. Jeez, you guys got that so quickly. An eye for an eye. Yes, an eye for an eye. Okay, okay. Then we might actually be able to get through all three today. Did I go for ones that were too easy? I was worried that I would, I didn't want to like make it too difficult. <laughs> okay, next one. Ready? No, not turn. Mm, you have to think carefully about this one. Oh, so close. So close, so close. Like a couple of you are close. No, not torn. Moab, are you on the good track though? Not turn up, not under turn, not your turn. Nope. <laughs> Boom. Those of you who are saying you turn are on the right track. You just are missing something. Ah, oh, Jordan. Yes. Yes. It was no U turn. So, like, you can't do a U turn there because there was no U in turn. <laughs> <laughs> There's no U in turn, so it was a no U turn. Yes. <laughs> I find these great. I was so, so excited when I found them. Okay, this next one, I think, the next one, I think, I think you'll be fine with. I think you're going to get the next one quickly. All right, last one for tonight. <laughs> mm -mm. Nope. <laughs> Chicken. <laughs> yes, Roma. Yes. Oh my gosh. Well done. Roma kicked it out of the like park over there. C U as in C U around. C U around. Clever, right? <laughs> These are like the easiest ones I could find. <laughs> Mine left the chat. I'll find. Are these ones, do you enjoy these? Or like, or yeah, tell me. <laughs> Is it a, is it a yes? Is it a no? <laughs> okay. I'll find some more for us on Thursday then. Yeah, sure. We can keep doing these ones. I'll find us some goodies. <laughs> but they're quite cool though. I'll just erase this in case anyone wanted to take a picture so that they can torture someone in their home. <laughs> Okay, cool. Let's jump back into some factorization fractions now that our brain has had a bit of a break. Nice job, guys. You did really well there. Okay, cool. So, this one, no divide sign, not so bad. Nice and easy, actually. Everything is the highest common factor. <laughs> But you, I, I can't. 
I think my my job would be quite cross with me if I just left them. <laughs> Okay, so give all of these a try. All four of them would just be a highest common factor. So see how quickly you can do this one. I'm going to try and make it our shortest time possible. So just think, what can I take out in all of them by taking out a highest common factor? And then we're going to try and cancel things and we're going to get our final answer. But I have a feeling you guys will find this one nice and easy. So I'm hoping that we get lots of full marks here. This question would be out of five marks. Okay, so if you were to see this in an exam, and you'd see five marks, we are not going to panic. We're going to think we can do all of this, and we can get those five marks, and we're going to put those five marks in our pockets. Oh, Tiana's here. She's ready. Let's see if someone else is brave to take the heat of Tiana. Oh, she has a question. Okay. Tiana, I am ready for your question. Ma'am, say um, you want to cancel it out, ma'am. If it's in a bracket and it's alone. Like, if the letter is in a bracket. I don't know. If, if ma'am knows what I mean. So like, if a, there's a letter by itself in a bracket. No, like if if like on the side, me there's in the bracket is x plus y, mm -hmm. me close the bracket, and then there's just the x alone on the other side. Now when I cancel both x's, can I do it? No, because it's like whatever's in inside that bracket, that bracket is is hugging everything together. It's hugging it together. It's making it one thing. So unless you're canceling something which is exactly the same as everything in that bracket, we can't touch what's inside it. Oh. Okay. I'll, okay. I'll give it to someone else. Someone else. Yeah. <laughs> let's see. Let's see if someone else feels brave for this one. Oh, Moabi, my best, 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 best friend went to Red Hill before she came to my high school, which is when we became friends. She was the one who gave me a fright in the dark last week, Thursday, when I forgot that she was in my house. But she went to Red Hill. Who is feeling brave, guys? Who's going to take this key to Tiana? Who's going to give us this answer? I'm not seeing any hands popping up. Sure. Ah, there we go. <laughs> All scared. Okay, Amber, yes. Talk me through it. I am so scared, but what? I'm going to give it a try. <laughs> Never be scared with me. Okay, one step at a time. Okay, so we're going to find the highest common factor. Good. So X. Good. And then in brackets, X plus Y. 100%. Okay. Over. Over. X. Mm -hmm. In brackets, A plus B. Perfect. Times. Multiplied, yes, by Y. Then Good. in brackets, y plus a. Y plus a. Wait, no, minus. Yields. Okay. And then x. Mm -hmm. And then in brackets, y. Um, Wait, minus a. Yes. yes, 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 yes. Okay, good. Okay, so, so far, you've got four marks. So, one, two, three, four. Okay. Okay, and then, what's going to cancel with what? The x and the x. Okay, like, good. The x and the x, yeah. And then um, the y, no, yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The y, the? The y minus a. And yeah. Then, Minus a. Yeah. Beautiful. Okay. So what would I be left with? Can I multiply? 
don't know. Yeah, so I think rather just leave it. So like when you multiply it, you can multiply it, but I think rather just leave it looking like that, if you know what I mean, instead of multiplying into the bracket. And then over mm -hmm. x, a plus b. Perfect. That's 100%. Why were you nervous? It looked a bit scary. <laughs> yeah, but I mean, you got to trust yourself. I'm like, nice Diana. job. <laughs> You guys are crushing it. I don't know why you're like panicking. You know exactly what you're doing. <laughs> nice work, Amber. Okay, you guys are doing awesome. Let me know if you have questions, if there were things that you don't understand about this so far. All my stars are like not coming out. <laughs> you did do well, exactly. Okay, I'm just going to go through here. We're all scared, Mommy, my goodness. Don't be stressed about school next week. School's going to come next week whether you're stressed or not. So you might as well not be stressed about it. <laughs> okay, let's see. Let's see how this one goes. So this one would have been out of five marks. Now, lots of people may have made a mistake in this last step over here because when we combine them, it can be a bit stressful. But what I'd be really, really chuffed with is if you were able to get these first four marks. So if you were able to do all of those highest common factors, that would be really great. That would make me super happy. So even if you got the first four, I would be so stoked. But just let me know. Let me know how this went. And hopefully, hopefully we'll have time for one more, maybe two, depending. I mean, butchered is a bit strong. It's the one letter that was flipped around. Okay. Yeah, the last part was hectic, 100%. Tiana, hello. Ma'am, I have a very serious question. So okay. we did um do the multiplication, multi you know, multiplication and the like by the last part, but we get another mark. So like if you <laughs> so if you did like xy plus y squared over ax plus xb. Yes. No, you won't get another mark because it'll be out of five. So they can't give you a mark that doesn't exist. It's so emotional. It is. It is emotional. It is. <laughs> but it is what it is. <laughs> okay. Let's try one more, guys. Let's see how we go. I want to find a nice juicy one. Oh, is this juicy enough? There are three. I like that there's three. I just don't know if it's hard enough. <sighs> that one's quite nasty. Mmm. Mmm. Okay, I'm going to stick with this one because there's three, but it's not nasty. It's not, it's not actually, it's not as nasty as it looks. As a helping hand, you're going to do difference of two squares up there. You're going to do a highest common factor down here. You are going to have that in brackets. It's not too much. Uh, and... I think you'll I think you'll enjoy this one. I think it'll be fine. Ooh, we'll see. We'll see. You should feel okay with it. You will be fine. You just remember, we don't panic. You just do it step by step. You imagine if someone gave you that question and said, factorize just that, you would know how to do that. If someone just gave you just that and said, factorize just that, you would be okay. So just think about it as one step. But really, there's only two things you have to do in the first in the first line. Just two things. Moabi, stop focusing on the horror stories happening behind you and focus on the maths problem right in front of you. Let's just let's get our maths brain happening. Moabi is always <laughs> Abby, remember you're the you you are the student that gets hundred percent and complain that you didn't write the exam well. So yeah. I'm very well. This is all for those of you falling for the tricks in the chats, trying to distract you, and then you'll be distracted, and then and Abby walks not. around with like ninety eight percent. Yeah, he's not distracted, guys. He's so focused. We see. 
we see all. Okay, so just, just focus on the first two things for this first step. I'm hoping we'll have time for both of these questions. So just focus on factorizing those first two, and then we will go on from there. May I have a question? Yeah, so that's like, fine. Say like we do the do, do the dots, ne? Yeah. And like now we want to cancel out. Can we cancel out the dots? Like the ones that's next to each other. Ones that are next to each other. Yeah, the two no. dots. No. What's there has to be one. So you can only cancel if something's on the top and something's on the bottom. Oh wait, yeah. Okay, now I'm confident. Thank you, ma'am. Okay. Okay. I think I'll talk you guys through this one because it's quite it's quite meaty. There's quite a lot going on, but I'm going to give you a couple more minutes to finish, and then I'll I'll start chatting. But just be careful with this first one. There's more than one step of factorization that you're going to do there. You will be doing more than one thing. Is do this my people? I see Nandi, you focus though. See you, Bushle. Uh, Zoom user, I was well, you're not writing anything on a paper. <laughs> Just <laughs> that's not gonna it's help. Just like walking around. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna give you guys one more minute. And then I'm going to start explaining this question. Oh no, Mudao, are you struggling? Is there something I can do to help? Okay, let's talk through this step by step, guys. Okay, so when I'm seeing this x to the power of 4 minus 1, I know I can do difference of two squares. Okay, so when I do difference of two squares, I'm going to be left with x squared plus 1, x squared minus 1. Okay, because we always have a plus and we always have a minus, and then we have x squared and x squared and the 1 and the 1. Okay, and then that's all over, oh, goodness, sorry. That's all over. 8x. We're going to times that by our 16x squared, and I'm going to take out a highest common factor over here of 4x, and I'd be left with x squared plus 1. Okay. Times x, sorry, let me just make this a bit smaller so I can write here, x over x minus 1. All right, so if you got here, you're going to give yourselves one mark for doing the first dots. We're going to do another dots there. One mark for taking out your highest common factor. Just up to that point over there. Okay. Now, the thing is, this x squared minus 1, we can actually do dots again. Because there are two squares. So two squares. And there's a difference. There's a minus sign. Okay. So I can actually write that as, let's just get this going, that's going to be, ooh, sorry, equal to, oh, sorry, I don't know why this is, I'm not enjoying my pen tonight, let's try, x squared plus 1, and then x plus 1, x minus 1. <laughs> It's like going all over the place. I think it might be because my battery is struggling. Okay. And that's all over. Gosh, this is so messy. Sorry, guys. You must be like, what am I reading? Gross. I know. <laughs> we understand. That's fine, guys. That's another dot over there. <laughs> I know it's gross, guys. I think what's happening is I think because like, 
I think because my, my laptop battery is struggling with load shedding, like the battery is not picking up my pen Ooh. as well. I think that might be what's going on. Okay. So that is what we land up with, okay? So all we did over here is we redid that difference of two squares. Now we factorize everything as fully as we can. So now we can cross out whatever we can cross out. So I want you to give yourselves another mark at that point over there. Okay, now we're gonna start crossing things out. Remember it has to be one top and one bottom. So I'm gonna cross out x squared plus one and x squared plus one. I'm gonna cross out x uh, minus one. Sorry, that should be a minus. Hmm, there we go. Okay. We're going to cross out this x minus 1 and that x minus 1. I'm going to cross out this x and that x. I'm going to cross out this x and that one, but I'm going to be left with an x because it was x squared at the top and only one x at the bottom. Actually, you know what? If you're feeling a little bit lost with all the crossing out, let me not do that just yet. Let me leave it at this point over here. Okay, so then what I would be left with is 16x squared in brackets x plus 1 all over 8x. Then it's a little bit easier to see what you can cancel. So 16 divided by 8 would give me 2, and x squared divided by x would give me x. So my final answer, once we had done all of that division, would be 2x x plus 1. And if you want to write over one, you can, but you don't have to have the over one. But this was a really tough question. So let's see where else you would get marks. You would get one mark over there, and then you would actually only get one mark for your final answer. So all of this complicated part, you would only lose one mark. The main marks were the factorizing. So if you were able to do that first dots, the first highest common factor and the second dots, you've already got three marks. Oh, it's I lost the four, guys. That should have been... 32. Oh, this pen's driving me absolutely loopy. Well done, guys, for spotting that. Well yeah, done. nice job, guys. Let's see if this is one. It doesn't want to write. Okay. <laughs> Try again. 16. It's like so weird, guys. Like it'll let me like write over here, but it won't let me write where I want to write. Okay, it would have been 16 over 32. So the two is going to be at the bottom and not at the top. <laughs> See if I can. There. Yeah, whoo. Okay. Success. Woo. We made it. So we'll have X, X plus one at the top and then over two at the bottom. Four oh, marks. Wow. Moabi, you see, always tell me we that you're struggling X. and I just know you always get them all. Yeah. Thank you guys for reminding me of that four that just kind of flew out of my mind while I was getting irritated with my screen and my pen. <laughs> <laughs> you know, um, these things happen in life. Okay, but I love you all and I will see you on Thursday. I have to run to my grade 10s, but I will see you on Thursday and I hope you have.